More than half of all cars from any brand are the same. All these cars you see are almost exactly the same, just with different badges. So if you are curious to know why that is and how it should impact your buying decision, this video is for you. The car manufacturing industry has come a long way, but some fundamentals of design and manufacturing are still the same. And these practices today have left to many modern cars being similar with different names. This method is called platform sharing and is more common today than ever before. It simply means the basic structure of the car or platform, including the underbody and the axles, is shared across multiple different cars. That is the reason why an Audi Q8 is similarly sized to the Lamborghini Urus, or why Hyundai's Creta is similar to Kia's Seltos. Let's see how that happens. Now, in the early 1900s, Ford Model T was the very first car for the masses. While it only came in black, you could still buy it as a car, van or a truck. This is because in the early days, car companies only manufactured the chassis or the platform on which the car was based. These platforms, with all their internals like engine, motors, were then sent to coach building companies who designed car bodies. These were the actual car designers who gave it the length, height and shape of the car. So back in the day, you did not buy a Bentley or a Rolls Royce. You bought a Bentley platform which was a coach built by some other company. Fast forward to the 60s and 70s and while the technology had moved on, could still get exotic cars like Aston Martin and Alfa Romeos with their own custom coach build design. These days, car manufacturing is much more streamlined. But since the production process is efficient, the real cost has shifted from manufacturing to engineering and design. And companies, more often than not, tend to share these costs by partnering with one another. There are two ways that this partnership can happen. The first is a direct partnership with another brand to co-develop a new car design and then sell essentially the same car under their own brand names. Toyota and Subaru are prime examples of this partnership. Toyota's GT86 and Subaru's BRZ are the exact same cars with different names. The other way of this partnership is platform sharing, which we briefly talked about earlier. Companies build a basic foundation and then use it for many different cars, or sometimes even different brands. This is a common practice now, and everyone does it, but the real master of platform sharing is the VW Group. VW owns a lot of different brands, including Audi, Bentley, Lamborghini, CH, Skoda, and many others. And if you know about platform sharing, it is very easy to spot which two car brands have the same foundation. The reason companies like VW practice platform sharing at such a wide scale is a simple business tactic. Think of it this way. Engineering and building a car costs millions and companies like VW Group launches more than 100 cars across their brands each year, so the costs can easily multiply. They don't want to build every single car from the start, so they build one common platform on which they can base multiple styles and types of vehicles in different categories, and more importantly, at different price points. This can lead to a massive cost saving and allow for a lot more customization in their cars across brands. So what does this mean? Staying with VW, they have a hatchback or a small car platform called MQB on which they base all VW hatchbacks. That is why the VW Golf, Audi A3 and Skoda Octavia are all of similar size. All of them share the same MQB platform underneath with different styling and internals on top of it. They also have an SUV platform on which they base the likes of Lamborghini Urus and Audi Q8. This means they have the same suspension, engine, brakes and other internals. Now car enthusiasts like me would know that the difference between the price of an Audi and a Bentley is massive. Bentley Bentayga, which is one of the costliest SUVs in the world, is more than two times the price of an Audi Q7. Yet, they share the same internals and engine. Similarly, Skoda Octavia is a much cheaper car than a VW Golf. So we, the consumers, are paying more money for essentially the same car. Does that mean we are being cheated? No, not really. Platform sharing across brands means that the engineering is the same quality, no matter if you buy a Skoda or an Audi. And while the platform is the same, the shape of the car and the quality of the interiors is much different for every car. How a car feels, rides and other comforts can be tweaked by different brands. 
and that allows car companies to create such different cars even though they are same underneath. But there is one issue with this platform sharing approach. Since all cars share the same internals, the platform in itself becomes a lot more important. And any issue or a big change in the car industry could mean that a lot more cars and brands would have to adapt to this change. This is a lot more evident today as we slowly move towards electrification. Fitting batteries in a car designed for a big petrol engine requires a fundamental shift in the current platform design. And while companies like Jaguar are building completely new platforms for their electric car range, other giants like Mercedes are still using their existing platforms for their electric lineup. It shows how hard and costly it is to build and scale new platforms, even for giants like Mercedes. Which approach will win? That is a wait and watch game. So do click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in similar weekly videos. Thank you for watching.